Hey guys, we're Ann Parker here from Ride or Dine. Hello. And we're really excited because we're at Disney World. <laughs> we are, and we're here to show you a new hotel that just opened. Brand new resort. Yep. Um, we've never stayed here because it just opened a right. few weeks ago. Yeah. That is the well, Disney World Swan Reserve. We're big fans of the Swan and Dolphin Hotel. Yeah, we end up staying there a lot. And it, yeah, it's a great, those are great resorts. Yeah. But this is the brand new third installment of, at the Swan Reserve. <laughs> so we're excited to show you guys around. Let's go take a look. Yeah. Right off the bat, I think the outside looks really pretty. I like the greenery and just looks cute. Okay, so just stepping in, there is a desk down here, but it looks like we should go up the escalators to actually talk to the front desk for check-in. Nice lighting fixtures. I like it. Yeah, I mean, it's really cool. It's definitely exceeding my expectations so far. It's funny because everything is so different here. I mean, you go up this escalator to get to the front desk. It's, it's on a really small plot of land. I feel like we should mention that. And uh, it's, this plot of land shared the same area as the mini golf and the mini golf is still here so they managed to put this all together okay yeah so it looks like everything is up here front desk lounge you see the elevators back there to the rooms too so we got here a little early and uh, we're not able to get into the room yet so for now we're just going to kind of walk around and see what amenities are here and then we'll maybe we'll eat here actually and uh, mm. then we'll go up to the room later I actually really like the ceiling. It reminds me of the Epcot ball a little <laughs> yeah. bit. I like how the, the bar and lounge area is, it's, it's all on the same floor, but it's separated by, honestly, these look like chess pieces. So here's the bar. It looks like underneath they've got outlets, super convenient, and little purse hooks. I like that. There's even more seating for the lounge over here. Uh, I think we're gonna sit in one of these booths later. So we're technically on the third floor because of the escalators, but again, everything's on this floor, and that includes the lounge that we were just at, but it also includes grounds and Amare, which is the restaurant here. I like the wall of wine. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> it's not an especially large restaurant, but I've heard the food is very good. Okay, so here's grounds. It's a little coffee shop here. This looks really cute. They've got, looks like menus up there to order from, but a lot of pre-made little snacks you can get too. It's yogurt and drinks, chips and whatnot. And oh, a couple sandwiches. I like this. Looks like a lot of options. Right outside on the same floor here is the pool. All right, and it looks like there's actually a bar area as well. This is actually a pretty decent size, but we're gonna walk over and see the pool that the Swan and Dolphin have as well, because you can actually use that pool too. Okay, so here's the bigger main pool over at the original Swan and Dolphin. You can see our hotel in the background there. I love these pools. This is one of my favorite parts about Swan and Dolphin. So there's a lot of space, they have a slide, but there's also some plans to change up the pools as well. Here's a site plan of what it's going to look like. They're actually adding a couple slides. It's gonna be cool. This is one smaller size hot tub, but I really like how secluded this one feels. And here's another hot tub, and Parker brought up a good point. You can actually stop here after a long day at the parks, after you get off the boat, and jump in the hot tub quick before going back to your hotel. They've got some poolside activities too. Looks like giant chess, ping pong, pool tables. And over here, they have a playground, which they are also proposing changing up a bit. And this is something that I also think is cool that they do. They have free paddle boats, swan boats, that you can rent, and if you're a guest, they're free and get to go out on the pretty lake. So you can really see the distance here, how far Swan Reserve is to the Swan and Dolphin. And we're gonna walk over this way to show you guys the boat area where you would catch a boat to Epcot or Hollywood Studios. So here's the dock for the boats. They come actually very frequently. 
and it's very conveniently located right between the two hotels for the Swan and Dolphin. Okay, we're gonna start heading back to Swan Reserve now, see if we can check in and eat and stuff. So it is a little bit of a walk. You do have to cross the street here, but it's not too bad. And before we check in, I think we're gonna go look at the conference spaces and the business center and that kind of stuff. Okay, so here's the first floor ballrooms. This is when you first come in the set of doors before going up the escalators. Um, I can see why they lead you to the second floor for check-in since down here seems to be very business oriented. And the little business and packing center seems small, but I mean, nice, I guess. And now we're actually at the top of the hotel. This area is beautiful. And also the view is incredible. You can see the Swan and Dolphin, of course, but you can also see the Epcot ball. And uh, man, I would imagine fireworks up here are amazing. And here's another ballroom. And uh, this is the one at the top with this view. This is amazing. There's even a patio up here as well where you can go outside. And uh, let's, let's, let's see if the door's open. It was open. And look at this view. I really can't get over this. I keep talking about it, but this hotel is beautiful. And we've always loved the Swan and Dolphin. So to have this third hotel, this third option is just so incredible. And here's the mini golf. I feel like Disney has underrated mini golf courses, but people are just too absorbed with the parks. We're back inside now. We're gonna take a quick look at this fitness center, and then we're gonna finally go check out these rooms. I feel like it has everything that you would want. I like how you can look out the window while you're running. There's even a Peloton. Okay, so we're all checked in, good to go. We're gonna go finally get into our room. I'm really excited to see it because, you know, the rooms at uh, the Swan are really nice, but the rooms at Dolphin the last couple times, they're a little older, could use some refurb. So I'm excited to see brand new rooms. Okay, here we go. I like the floor, immediately notice that. And we have a king size bed here. Very nice. Yeah, this whole area is really cool. I like that there's a couch. And uh, what do we have over here? Okay, a closet. Little okay, orange. Track. And here's the bathroom. It's a big bathroom. I like that. And the sink is really nice. I like that there's a lot of counter room. Yeah, there's a lot of space for all my stuff. Here's the shower, that, that's nice. So it actually has a thermostat that's easy to use. That's nice. <laughs> Let's change this. Got a hidden fridge here. I already put a water bottle in it. <laughs> Get complimentary water bottles. Yay. <laughs> okay, and now I gotta check out the most important thing, the view. Okay. Nope, I'll get okay, this one. Not bad. Yeah, let's go downstairs and eat now. So we decided to try the food here at Stir, which is the bar. The lounge area. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it is. And I got a burger here with tomato jam, which is really neat. And then we got the calamari. Yeah. Two different kinds of sauces. Ooh, that's really good. Oh, excellent. It's like a weird tomato marinara almost. But it works? Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the, the tomato on here, tomato jam, honestly, I think it's going to make the burger. But let's find out. All right, cool. Here we go. Really good? Really? Well, look at this burger. It's medium. 
Yeah? To a T. <laughs> it's good? I was concerned. Yeah, it's very good. I was concerned because it's $20. Oh my gosh. Not cheap. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know, this is very much so worth it. It's a $20 burger? It's a $20 <laughs> burger. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. Let's try this. Yeah, this sauce is excellent. Yeah. Yeah, the initial shock is is I mean, obvious, right? <laughs> really like good. how is a burger at a bar, really at a lounge? I mean, you know. I think they have they serve a lot of the same food here that they do at the restaurant. Well, I mean, kudos to them because yeah, it's, very it's good. very good. Yeah. And yeah, this this sauce here is is definitely amazing. All right, so we're heading out now, but I do want to mention that the hotel does have the Disney bus stop, just like the other resorts, to take you to the parks, with the exception of Epcot and Hollywood, where you have to take those boats. Well, there you have it. We showed you around the whole place. Yeah, it's a really <laughs> nice resort. And, yeah. Um, you know, that view some, is something else. Yeah, there's some pros and cons to it for sure. I mean, it's a little bit further a little bit than the these other Swan and Dolphin. So yeah. once you catch the boat, you do have to come across the street. It's a little bit more of a walk. Yeah. Um, but, but for the know, price point that it typically sits at compared to other deluxe resorts here at Disney. Yeah, not bad. And it does count as a deluxe resort in the sense that like, um, I know Epcot and Magic Kingdom right now are doing extended hours from 9 to 11 on certain days, right. only for deluxe guests. That does apply if you're staying at Swan Dolphin and Swan Reserve. Huge so bonus. Uh, we stayed at Epcot until 11 p.m. the other night. Um, only waited like 15 minutes for Ratatouille. Yeah, it is incredible. Yeah. Um, walk on everything pretty much. Yeah. Frozen. So it's worth it, definitely. Um, yeah, I think we'll come here again for sure. I think we so. Always... I mean, the rooms are beautiful, the yeah. resort's nice. And we're always like, we should stay at a deluxe resort. And then we see the price, and then we're like, mm. back to and Swan then we go and back Dolphin. And we to Swan and Dolphin all the time. <laughs> so yeah, we'll rotate between these three, I think. And... Right. Yeah, that's well, a good and idea. We'll also stay at the other ones. I mean, we yeah. mix it in every now and then. Yeah, we're going to have to stay at the <laughs> at some point. I think maybe next time. We'll see. I think so. I mean, we have stayed at other deluxe resorts, moderate. We're trying to stay everywhere eventually. Yes. So we will mix those in, but we do love these ones. So we, we will come back for sure. <laughs> see you guys next time.